Okay, it's 4.30, July 2nd. And I'm going in to get the Santa range today. It's gonna be a long day. Uh, 15 miles. I think about 4,700 feet of elevation gain. It's not gonna be much to see for a while, but I'll show you once the sun comes up. 10 after five. Crossing the stream. Six o'clock on the money. This is the turnoff for the Santanoni Express Trail. You can go up this trail. It's steeper. Part of me wants to do this trail, but traditionally it's done by going up the Bradley Pond and around and for a lot of reasons, it makes more sense to do it that way for safety concerns. Here we go, and it's been this muddy mess this whole time. But hour and a half, I'm at the Santoni Express. I'm making pretty good time. Made the cutoff to uh, the big ascent up Panther. So Times Square. Times Square is a big open area on the top there on the ridge. A bunch of trails leading off to the different peaks. You can see Bradley Pond there through the trees. So taking a little break. It's about seven on the money now. I'm in the middle of Panther Brook. I got bugs all over me. 7.45, making my way up. You can see I'm getting up there with these other, that's Marcy out there. So you can tell. Marcy's 53.44, so I'm up there. I'm at 4,000 at least. But these peaks are 44 and 4,600 feet. So I'm doing good. Almost at Times Square. Okay, just made the summit of Panther Peak. It's 8 a.m. Not much to see right from the summit, but right down here, there's some nice views. A little bit of a wind up here. It's probably high 50s or around 60. Okay, I'm at, I'm at what's called Herald Square. I just came from that way. That's where Panther is. And then this is where I branch off to do Coochie. And I'm gonna come back through, go around that boulder, and that takes me out to Santanoni. So, off to Coochie. This is one of the most hated stretches of trail in the Adirondack High Peaks right here. People bitch and moan about this all the time, but it's a fact of life if you wanna do what this is what I'm doing today. So, no reason to complain, just get her done. A little more than halfway out to Coochie and just had this nice little lookout. So I decided I'd just do a little video. You can't really see, but right out there's the Sewards and uh, they're in the clouds right now, but that's Ayalaska Brook and the Northville Placid Trail goes down through there. 10 after nine. Here I am at Coochie. <clears throat> Coming back from Coochie and that's what I'm gonna do. 
I got to go back over that little ridge, that big mound right there. That's panther. I'm not going back up to the top of that, but over that ridge. And then I'm going to run that other ridge over there on the top there, all the way over into to Santanoni. It's a good solid two miles over there to Santanoni now. But I'm feeling good. Sun's coming out. Okay, 10 a.m. and I'm back to that lookout and all the clouds have burned off. So there you can see <clears throat> the Seward Range and that one on the right there is in Seymour. And then that one to the left is Seward. And then you have Donaldson and Emmons is that one right at the very end. Okay, just coming out of Harold Square. <clears throat> Made it back to Harold Square. That's where I'm going, to Santanoni. That's where I just was. And I got 0.9 miles to the top of that thing. And then from there, it's at five miles out. So I'm just under six miles. And the sun is out. Beautiful day. 11.15, almost to the top of Santanoni. Ran that whole ridge, came back up to that little shoulder area. And then I've been coming right down this, through this little call and now Okay, 11.30 on the money, three high peaks before noon, seven hours it took me to get here, and now I got five miles out, and uh, it's all downhill and, and flat, so I'm hoping to do this in two, between two and three hours. Okay, see you, Santanoni. Some pretty good views over there is Dick's Range and Allen Redfield. You got the McIntyre Range. Right there, there's Colden. Right in the middle is Colden. It's a good view of Colden. See the slides coming off? That one. There's Cucharagra, the Seward Range, that whole ridge I ran. That's the McIntyre range right there, that kind of the taller part. Colden is right there in the middle with the slides. Marcy, skylight right behind it. A lot of the great range, you have Redfield and Cliff are down there. Here's the whole Dix range right there. So I just turned down the express and I just wanted to get a shot here. That's Bradley Pond. And I came around that pond at about 7 a.m. And came all the way up this ridge. All the way up right there to that, kind of that call. And then went to the top of Panther there. And then back down to Coochie. And out and around. Some nice shots there. Oh, there's a nice shot of wall face. It's a huge cliff. A nice trail that runs right down the bottom of that wall face. Okay, just came out of Santanoni Express. There's the cairn. And now I think it's about three and a half miles back, which I'm hoping to do in about an hour and a half. And uh, here I go. Five after one. Back to the bridge. Went through here in the dark. Okay, 10 after one. I'm back to the road. About a half an hour from now, I'll be back to the car. Just looked at my stopwatch that I started right as I left and it said nine hours and eight minutes. 
So, I'm back. Santa range done.